Hey Collective, hi, how are you? How's everyone doing? So I am going to do a love reading. I just felt drawn to do a love reading for you guys. So if you, um, and you know, it doesn't necessarily have to be love because I do feel like there may be some messages here that aren't necessarily gonna be for love. But um, if you were drawn here, then take what resonates, leave what doesn't. I, um, uh, I've said this before, but I just want to say it again for those of you who haven't um, heard that, you know, when uh, spirit draws you to a reading, to a collective reading, spirit will piggyback off of a, a reading to give messages for those that they're meant for, even like um, readings that are based on your astrological sign. Um, it's going to be like those piggyback readings and just take what resonates, leave what doesn't for someone else. So for those of you who don't know me, hi, my name is Winter. I am claircognizant, clairvoyant, clairsentient, and clairaudient. And I have spent many years studying uh, tarot and the symbolisms and the meanings. And so I use my knowledge of the cards as well as my gifts and abilities to channel messages from spirit for you. And I usually use a singing bowl um, uh, to start off my readings to clear the energy for myself and yourself as I connect with spirit and my higher self. However, I'm in the process of moving, uh, and so I'm in a hotel, and my singing bowl is packed up, so I do have my um, tuning fork, so I'm just going to play this to kind of clear the energy and, and give you a moment to set your intention for the reading and connect with your spirit team as well, and you can just visualize a healing light surrounding you full of unconditional love. You can breathe that light in. Sometimes, if you... Um, if you do it, you can um, actually feel like goosebumps, things like that. So, oh, and also if you would like your own personal private reading, you can send me an email. My email will be in the description box and it um, uh, always is in that description box. And I always give a subscriber, one subscriber, at least one subscriber, um, a month, a free 15 minute reading that I do on the first of each month. So. The first is next week, so if you guys are wanting to um, win a free 15 minute reading, all you have to do is be subscribed, like the video, and leave just any kind of comment, even if it's just an emoji, to just let me know, hey, I'm interested in winning the free reading. And also, I'm going to be doing a video soon, um, or a live um, soon, where I will be um, choosing a bunch of people who have a crystal wall emoji in the comments to get a prophecy reading. So, okay. Thank you, Divine Holy Spirit. Thank you, angels, archangels, ascendant masters, ancestors, spirit guides, and galactic ancestors, higher light beings. I call to you now and invite you here into this space to help me grasp messages and answers to the collective of souls that you draw to this reading. I thank you for allowing me to clearly and accurately see, hear, feel, and know the messages that you have today, enlightening each and every one of the decks. Thank you for enlightening these decks with clear and easy to understand, honest, accurate, trustworthy answers and messages from the divine that are only of the highest good and to the harm of none. With peace, love, light, and gratitude, so it is. Okay. So I just want to also take a moment and say thank you guys for all of your amazing comments and those of you who have sent me emails and checked in on me, like you guys just mean the absolute world to me and I just want to say thank you from the very, very bottom of my heart. Thank you so very much. I truly appreciate that. Okay, I'm just going to run these through the incense right here. Divine Holy Spirit, angels, archangels, ascended masters, ancestors, spirit guides, higher light beings. Please come here and guide this reading. So some of you um, could be dealing with a toxic person or a situation who could be quite literally like 
pissing you off. It's like you're just over it. You're done with something. I feel like you're learning how to set up stronger, healthier boundaries with people. I'm also seeing... Um, uh, so, I literally just heard uh, um, mature conversation. So, I'm not sure exactly what that means for you. Unless it just means like you're able to better handle yourself in conversations with people. Communicating with people. Like, um, maybe not getting so... Letting things affect you so much um especially like when you're in a conversation with people that maybe you are disagreeing with that type of thing okay first card out is obsessed like so you guys could be dealing with someone who who is like you may have walked away from a person that, um and we are in mercury retrograde so like there are like uh, the past coming back up again so this could be someone here from your past who's uh, obsessively watching your social media, watching what you're posting on social media. They um, want to constantly like keep an eye on you, keeping tabs on you, like maybe even seeing like how many likes you've gotten on pictures that you've uploaded or videos that you've uploaded. For those of you who work on social media, you're dealing with someone though who's a bit of a stalker, okay? And I'm not saying that this is crazy stalking, but also this could potentially be you. Like you could be in this energy where you just can't move on from a person and like you maybe are watching like their social media, watching what they're posting um, and not able to, to really move on from a person or a situation. So take it how it resonates. Yeah, so I am seeing jealousy uh, energy. Now this could be like a coworker, friend. Um, there, there could be jealousy within a, um, an actual relationship, um, trust issues, jealous partner, some envious energy. Okay, and we got players. So some of you may be dealing with a person who is a bit of a player or was a bit of a player. Um, this uh, is an energy of someone not just not being very committed. Um, maybe a bit unreliable because this um because this is collective this player energy could be a couple of different things is what i'm picking up on i'm feeling like somewhat like you may have seen someone through rose colored glasses because of this sun visor on this person's face but look over it like you're over something here like you could quite literally be like you know what f you i'm done like this i'm just so over this bs you could be rejecting a person or a situation all right and then we've got frozen some of you like i feel like a relationship it's like no matter how hard you try you cannot move this relationship forward progress it and it could be romantic or just like any kind of relationship it feels like you're dealing with someone who emotionally shuts down who may shut you out and you may be like please just talk to me tell me something you know like show me something what do you how do you feel you know others of you this is regarding like your career but there's some area of your life that just feels kind of frozen in place. And no matter how hard you try, you just can't push it forward somewhere in your life. But look, we've got garden on the bottom of the deck. So I do feel like a lot of you are dealing with someone who is guarded, who may be really shutting you out. You could also be dealing with someone too. Like every time you try to express your feelings, um, instead of validating those feelings, they just shut you down. And again, like I'm getting past or present um, information or situation. So um, this card just flew out and it is on hold. You could be dealing with someone who um, ignores you. Um, you could also have been blocked by this person um, uh, on social media or maybe you've blocked this person. Or, and I'm also getting to, like, there's someone um, that maybe kind of keeps you hanging. Like, um, you maybe text them or call them, and it's just like they're, 
um, they're not getting back to you or it's like you're constantly waiting for them to call you back, constantly waiting for them to text you back. Some of you are, though, you're, this is not regarding a relationship, like you're waiting for a call back from, you know, like um, maybe a job or like um, regarding money or it's like, um, you know, there's something important in your life that you're just kind of on hold right now. It feels like maybe your life is a bit on hold and um, like overall like your whole life might feel like it's on hold or like some area of your life just feels like it's on hold and you're just kind of waiting for this callback it could be regarding a job um or any area is there anything else we can get spirit And then we've got good man. So you are, um, this could be like, um, it doesn't necessarily have to be a good man. I mean, you could be like a good man. You could be waiting for a good man or like you're just waiting for that, that perfect partner. But there's something here about this, a person that you're waiting for, or it's like, even if you're not waiting for a particular person, but you're just like waiting for love in general, this is like somebody here that's worth waiting for. Look, we've got uprooting on the bottom of the deck. So some of you could be uprooting your entire life right now or feeling like your entire life is being uprooted. You could be like, you know, packing up and moving and leaving, you know, uh, moving your entire life, um, relocating uh, a new job. Some of you dealing with like this, um, some energy vampires. They're you know, feeling emotionally drained. Look, waiting. Yeah, I feel like you guys are in like a waiting period of your life. There could be also people gossiping and talking shit about you and about your life and what you got going on in your life. What you know, what you're doing. But we've got restricted, trapped. Um, that waiting there. Some of you feel like you could be losing your patience. Like, oh my God, I'm tired of waiting already. Like, when is this just going to happen already? Type of energy, you know? Okay. When is this going to happen? Um, <clears throat> I'm hearing that song in my head from uh, Whitney Houston. How will I know if he really loves me? I can't sing, so. <laughs> Look, the seven of pentacles, there's that energy of waiting, waiting for progress, maybe starting to feel doubt. Like, I, I, I doubt I'm ever going to find love, or I doubt that this is ever going to, to happen for me, or I doubt I'm going to get that promotion. But it's like you're waiting right now, and you're just kind of reflecting and looking back. I feel like a lot of you could be also really reflecting back at a relationship and thinking about everything that you have put into the relationship all the time, the energy, the love, maybe the money, whatever it is, that's just like you put in a lot into a particular relationship relationship and you're just waiting for um for the for to to reap the rewards from everything that you have put into that relationship and that for some of you this could be regarding a career you know like you have put so much time and energy um you know resources into a career and you're just waiting to finally get the success from all of your hard work Thank you, Divine Holy Spirit, angels, archangels, ascendant, masters, ancestors, spirit guides, higher light beings. Please come here. Guide this reading. Show me clearly what I need to see. Can you tell us more about this obsessed card, please, Spirit? Tell us more about this obsessed card. Eight of Cups. Look. Somebody can't move on. Somebody is stalking you. You may have walked away from a person or a situation and and completely left this person behind. And it doesn't even matter how long ago it's been. But it's like you decided to um, that you deserved better. You deserved more. And there is someone that can't move on. And again, like 
flip, switch, or reverse the roles because this is collective. So some of you, you you're not the you're the one that can't move on. You're the one that can't like let go, and um, and are still thinking about the good old days, you know, and watching this person's social media. So, um, somebody here though, you could actually be like an online influencer and you, um, or like you have some sort of online business or you're like, maybe you're just like really popular online or you're like posting pictures or whatever that it is that you're doing. And, um, this person here just is watching what you're doing and they, they can't let go of the past. Because I feel like you're you're focusing on you now, like you're really maybe um, career driven, really focused on you and your future with the three of wands there. Tell me more about this player card spirit. And the ace of cups with the nine of wands. There's that, uh, like, that uh, ongoing battle. I'm really feeling like it's just been, like, a really emotional battle. Um, I... I I really feel like I just heard hot and cold. So you could be dealing with someone who is like one minute there. They love you and they want to be with you. And then the next minute it's arguing, fighting, conflicts, you know, emotional outburst. There could be with that nine of wands and that player card. I'm really getting like trust issues and you could really be going back and forth in your mind. Some of you could be dealing with a Gemini here with that lover's card or someone with Gemini in their chart or you could. But regardless, like i um, trying to like really decide where this relationship's going. Does it have a future? Maybe you're the one trying to figure out like um, what this person wants. This person could be trying to figure out what you want too. Also like be careful too because I'm seeing like a player, especially with that nine of wands on the bottom of the deck, I'm seeing a player, a person that will whisper sweet nothings in your ear quite Quite literally, I mean, it's just sweet nothings. Tell you what you want to hear in order to get what they want. I'm also seeing, too, someone that's not sleeping well at night. Um, I don't know if, like, you're waking up throughout the night or you just aren't s sleeping um, all night. And I'm seeing someone with, like, nightmares. You're dealing with, like, maybe actually having nightmares or, like, you're feeling like you're in a nightmare situation. And Spirit is saying that it, whatever that is for you, whoever that is for, Spirit wants you to know that it's only temporary. Can you tell us more about this Frozen card, Spirit? Can you tell us more about this Frozen card? Uh-oh, uh the devil. So, um... Somebody here is frozen in fear. There are fears that is causing someone to kind of like shut down. I'm also seeing, I just heard fear of failure. Um, you, um could just be feeling like this sense of just feeling trapped. You may be feeling like you're in some sort of toxic situation that is holding you back in some form or fashion. Whether it be like caused by another person or within yourself, regardless, there's some sort of um, toxicities here. Some of you could be dealing with like addictions. You could have um, some sort of an addiction 
uh, it doesn't have to be drugs or alcohol, but there is some sort of like addiction here. I'm also seeing too, so like, um, someone's, someone's sex life is kind of frozen right now. There's not a whole lot of sex going on. Um, and maybe it's just because like, you're just, you just are over it. Like, and it could be with this particular person or like a past relationship, you know, that um, just kind of broke down. I feel like you're dealing with a person, though, that may kind of, you, you could, this is not for everyone, but I'm seeing someone in a relationship that talks about, it's like, you're in a relationship with a person that talks about your relationship to everyone, like talks about you like you're the toxic one. And some of you, is like you're dealing with a, a narcissist. And I'm not trying to diagnose anyone, but if you already know or feel that your person is a narcissist, then this is your message. But like dealing with a narcissist that um, no matter, it's like, yeah, because they're, they're draining you and you feel trapped. You feel unable to act. You feel unable to make a move. You feel unable to like move this relationship forward. Or maybe you feel trapped within the relationship. Can you clarify on hold? I'm seeing a person emotionally that like they're disconnected from their emotions with that King of Cups. Some of you could be dealing with a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. You could be dealing with a Capricorn as well with the double card here. I don't typically try to read the signs from the minor arcana just unless it is a court card. So, um... But I feel like you're dealing with someone who is emotionally unavailable. Because we got on, on hold with the King of Cups here. I'm also seeing a relationship where there are two totally different people. And so, like, this could be, you know, like, your your ethnic background, your culture, your belief systems, but um, your age, but there's something here with a connection where the two of you just do not mesh well. I, and I feel like some of you, Spirit is showing me that some of you are in a connection where you have grown emotionally, spiritually, you've grown and evolved, and this other person is stunted and they cannot grow. You have grown, you have matured, you have evolved, and this person that, that you're with or even a past partner, you've grown and evolved, and this other person, ha it's like their, their growth is stunted. And look, I was getting ready to go to, to the good man, and we've got the king of pentacles here. So um, I feel like you're definitely moving, especially if you're single, you are um, about to, um, to meet like your person, a person that you're going to, it's going to be like, um, this is the I'm glad that it didn't work out with anyone else type of energy. You know, like I understand now why it never worked out with anyone else before. Can you clarify? Good. I also, sorry, but I have to, when I'm doing collective, I have to give you what's coming in. But I'm seeing someone that is trying to like, they want you to believe their worth, but it's like, um, it's not because they bring anything to the table. They just want you to believe that they have something to bring to the table. Can you clarify good man spirit? Can you clarify good man? The emperor. Holy hell. Why, why do they need to know about the, the emperor with the good man spirit? Oh, 
Let's see, look. I feel like you've constantly been waiting for this. This is for this is for my ladies, okay, that are attracted to masculine energies. Male or female, it doesn't matter, but those of you who are attracted to masculine energies, you've been waiting and waiting and waiting for this person here to um, to be the man that you've needed to be. And I'm sorry that this particular message is not going to be for everyone, but it's like you've been waiting for this person, waiting and waiting and waiting for this person to come in and to be the man that you have needed for so long, that you've needed to take care of you, that you've needed to take the the divine masculine role so you don't have to because you're drained, you're tired, you're so tired of playing both roles and you're not even able to play the divine feminine role because you're constantly playing the masculine role and you've been waiting and waiting and waiting for either Mr. Right or for your person to be Mr. Right. And you just can't take it anymore. Uh, and I, I am seeing someone with like a, a, a prescription problem, like a prescription medication problem. Like this feels like an ongoing battle. But it's like you're just you're 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 so drained. You're so tired. You're so tired of waiting for this person to. Um, to be a, the man that you've needed, that you've wanted. And and some of you could be dealing with a person who's been waiting for you to to be the the man that they're that they need so that they can be in their feminine um, energy. Like you just want to be safe. You want to feel safe and you haven't. You've had to be on guard. You've had to be in that masculine energy and you're tired. Like you want the person to come in and to 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 create an environment where you you are safe and you are able to to be in your feminine role, your feminine energy, and it's not about the mat, you know, the male role and the female role, but it's about that, you know, you just. It's about being in that feminine energy and you want to feel safe enough to be in that feminine energy and you don't you're tired of having to to be in both uh, roles. Wow, that's interesting that that showed up. Let's see here. Yeah, we'll use this deck. Show me what they're currently dealing with, Spirit. Thank you, Divine Holy Spirit. Angels, Archangels. Thank you. You could be dealing with someone just lazy AF, okay, that avoids doing any kind of hard work and you're constantly doing it all. Yeah, I feel like some of you are dealing with a person that is jealous of your good fortune. Draining. Look, you're drained. You're exhausted. You may be tired of fighting with someone. And spirits like you cannot heal in the same environment that made you sick. It's time to protect your energy. Putting up strong boundaries here. Maybe you have been very passive and have been a bit of a pushover. And spirits like don't just let things happen. Push yourself harder and you'll see how strong you really are. Look, reckless. Maybe you've been dealing with someone who has been very reckless, irresponsible. You know, maybe you have. And spirit saying for you to be careful not to slip into old patterns or behaviors or um, responses. You know, um so work is hard, but don't give up. This is about being persistent and continuing to move forward. I feel like a lot of you definitely are in that um, Phoenix um, energy. Also, too, especially those of you who are having like stomach issues or like digestion issues, it's because you are in your um, Phoenix energy. 
and then we've got depressed. So some of you may be dealing with some depression, feeling a bit pessimistic, okay? You're just um, having episodes of sadness um, brought on by old wounds. And Spirit is saying that there are wounds that need to be addressed and healed and, and maybe even exploring your um, exploring childhood wounds. Some of you could have um, uh, uh, um, father wounds. You know, uh, you could have um, or dealing with a partner who has their um, um, has father wounds, father issues that need to be healed. So guys, this is what I have for you. I truly hope that it resonates and I will be back with another message soon. And again, if you would like a personal private reading, please feel free to email me. My email will be in the description box and the divine in me bows to the divine in you. Namaste.